Experts say nearly half of everyone watching right now has high blood pressure and it's linked to cardiovascular diseases that can silently steal years from your life. Yeah, the good news though is there are some things you can do to protect yourself that won't cost anything. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with new research on how the protein in your diet can help. Hey doc. Hey, Karen and Jason. Yeah, you know, by now, hopefully everyone is aware of the link between salt and sodium consumption and high blood pressure. But your diet can also affect your blood pressure in other ways. In fact, new research published in the American Heart Association journal Hypertension focused specifically on protein in our diet and how both variety and amount matter. The study looked at health information for over 12,000 adults in China. The participants were an average age of 41 and were about evenly split between men and women. They were asked about what and how much they ate, specifically regarding eight different sources of protein, whole grains, refined grains, processed red meat, unprocessed red meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and legumes. After an average of six years of follow-up, just over 35% of participants developed high blood pressure. But the people with the greatest variety of protein in their diet had less than half the rate of new onset high blood pressure. We want to make sure in regards to protein that you're eating a variety of different types of protein, both animal and plant-based, to get a different, uh, many different amounts of essential amino acids. Hallie Saperstein is a registered dietitian at Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital. Her suggestions for plant-based proteins? Lentils, quinoa, hemp seeds, chickpeas, pea protein, um, tofu, chia seeds, you name it, and they're really easy to put into different foods. She adds there can be too much of a good thing though. Keep your protein intake in check as well. And so eating everything in moderation is key. This current study is talking about a moderate amount of protein intake um, to keep your blood pressure in a normal range. Now, more research is going to be necessary to really determine the optimal amount of each specific source of protein. But the bottom line here is having a wide variety of protein sources in your diet really does seem to help reduce the chances of developing high blood pressure. Now, of course, this is in addition to moderating salt intake, getting exercise, and so on. It's really just another piece of the puzzle. Yeah. Uh, Frank, by the way, you mentioned that study that included eggs as a good source of protein. Uh, I, it seems like at one time cardiologists were, you know, eggs were persona non grata, but now because of the cholesterol, now are they back on the good list here? Well, yeah, they kind of are. You know, the important part, of course, is moderation. The American Heart Association says for the average person, an egg a day can be considered part of a healthy diet. My egg sandwich is going nowhere. I love it. All right, good stuff, Doc. We appreciate it. Eggs for dinner. I do that. Love it. Yeah, the crab cake with an egg on top for breakfast, hash browns. Who's making a crab cake in the morning? I don't know. Could be anybody. I don't know. Maybe. I'm anybody. Too busy. Possibly somebody. <laughs> Things are heating.